Hello, everybody. It's Bonnie from Bonnie's Pretty Poppet Reborn Nursery. How is everybody this day? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend filled with those that you love and accomplished all the things that you want to accomplish. And I also have some hope that you have some time to relax and rest, too. Well, our weather has just been lousy, <laughs> and today's no different. Um, it's rainy. It's miserable. It's been this way for a couple of days. Now, the one good thing is I looked at the forecast and it said that Mother's Day is on Sunday is supposed to be bright and sunshiny and fairly warm. So we'll look forward to that. But you know, I really don't mind being in the house and cozy, watching a movie, curl up with a good book. So it's just as nice. I'm joined tonight by my beautiful Primrose Lane. She is the ward kit sculpted by Irina Kapalaskaya and her artist, she's a custom, her artist is Chris Hyden from Tiny Hearts Reborn Nursery and she is just a joy. I love this little girl. I had my eye on this kit for a while and I finally had her custom made for me. She has beautiful red auburn hair and beautiful brown eyes. I love the expression. Her little mouth and her tongue is sticking up and her little mouth is so cute. And then she has those big inquisitive eyes. Um, she has painted eyebrows that I think are perfect. She is in a little koala bear outfit. It is a white cotton top with or uh, um, orange, <laughs> olive colored trim. And there are flowers embroidered. And then she has on like cargo pants. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is um, embroidered flowers also there. Well, I would like to say if you're a return subscriber, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You mean the world to me. I love you guys. You take time out of your busy schedule to spend some time with me. And I love the comments and I love hearing your opinions and thoughts. If you have not subscribed, I wonder if you would consider subscribing we do box openings, we do Toddler Tuesday, we do Theme Thursday, we do details, we do uh, tags that are going around. We do, um, I think I said box openings, but we also do my favorite thing, which we're going to do today, is our Reborn Hall clothing and toys. I would like to show you what I picked up in the thrift store the, fat plat the last couple of days. Boy, my tongue is going faster than my brain can think, huh? So I'm going to get started right away, and Primrose is here to help me out. Well, I was realizing that the theme for next Thursday has already been announced because on Mother's Day, Sunday is when Renee usually, um, I'm sorry, when having you on usually announces it. And it happens to be llamas and ketchup this week. So I found these adorable socks. They are hot pink on the heel and the toe and the top with a little bit of uh, lace. And then we have llamas on there, hot pink llamas and light pink llamas. Really, really cute. So I got those. I've been finding clothes for my darling little um, lavender blue, which is the lavender uh, sleep. Look at these. These are like a tan color. And look at these. It's just unusual. It has a little tan bow up here. Some of these have been washed but not ironed. And some haven't even been washed yet. Look at these adorable pants. They've got cockatoos, teals, or some kind of parrot. Really colorful birds. They have blue and green and yellow and pink and red. And just every, oops, every color you can think of. So those are for lavender. I'm sorry, it's a really great day, so I don't know how well this is going to work. These are just one use, three months. So this will probably be for um, my twins, the Chase kit, which is Cabot O'Malley, or my Levi kit, which is Murray Holloway. And again, we have zoo animals on here, and it just so happens there's llamas. And there's also elephants and koala bears, too. I think that's about it for the animals. Really cute. Oh, little hedgehog. I found another llama. 
which I think is so cute. Just so lamaizing. Uh, play on words here. It's a Carter six months. So this is probably going to be for Poppy. Uh, she's my blue sparrow. She's Jack's twin. And there's a llama on there. He has a little saddle with yellow lace around it. And he has a pinkish colored bird on top of him. And like I said, it's just so amazing. And there's some little clouds. It's puffy too. Really cute. It's a mustard color. These are also for lavender. They're just really cute. They're red with white polka dots. Nothing, just plain. But poor little thing, when she got here, there were no clothes for her. These are zero to three months. I thought they looked really, really cute. They're little jean shorts, but they're white uh, denim material. And they've got beautiful, colorful cranberry, pink, purple, uh, teal colored little circles. And I love the lace at the bottom. I think even though it says zero to three, these might fit Zoe, my Damie kit. But if not, they'll definitely fit. Um, uh, they'll definitely fit my uh, Saskia girl Poppy Meadows. Aren't those cute? Before I forget, let's do the toys too. I'm sure if you're returning, you'll remember my trumpet that Auntie Ruth named. Well, I found him a friend. It's a zebra. He, a zebra, a giraffe. Okay, he, I don't know if his battery's starting to wear out, but he, uh, yeah. it's like he's, there we go. So we found Trumpet a friend. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. If you guys want to help me name this one, we could. It makes a trotting noise. And then there's like a whistle. Yeah, I thought that would look cute with, uh, especially if we do like a zoo theme or something. And again, this is uh, Cloud Island. I'm trying to see the size. I don't see it, but I was thinking primrose right here. Again, mommy and daddy llamas and little baby llamas. It's a mint green and it's a onesie with long sleeves. But it has white llamas and cream colored llamas and tan and gray llamas. So again, I hit the jackpot on the llamas today. This dress was gorgeous. I had already washed it. I have not ironed it yet. But it's for Libby. That's my Ariana kit. It still had the tags on it, but I've since taken them off so I could wash it. This is from Penelope Mac. I'm not very familiar with it. But it looks very cute. It's a beautiful sundress. It kind of has like Swiss polka dots that are uh, three-dimensional. Look at these beautiful sleeves with the periwinkle, maybe? Uh, baubles on the side. And then look at this scene. Hot air balloons, all different pastel colors. There's uh, like a festival. Uh, there's a double bus. There's a Ferris wheel. So I'm thinking things in France, maybe. I don't know for sure, but it definitely looks very European. At the bottom, there's a blue or periwinkle, again, spot. And it has those, like I said, those Swiss polka dots that are three-dimensional. Isn't that just beautiful? What a beautiful sundress. I lucked out when I found this. And again, I always go on certain tag days, so it was almost nothing but I could see nobody had ever worn it. This is Newborn Carters. This would definitely be for Lennon McCartney, who is my Ava kit. We have dinosaurs of all types. There's Brontosaurus, I see little pterodactyls. It is a white color with gray and outlined dinosaurs. And again, he had, I had the same problem with him. I didn't really have very many clothings for newborn boy or girl. This is size six months, but to me it looks a little bit small. So I'm thinking Silas is my Saskia boy. He is the twin to um, Pop, not Poppy, I'm sorry, Posey Meadows. They are pajama bottoms, but they're footless. They are white and light blue, or yeah, I'm going to say light blue, not even teal, light blue. 
and it says six months carters but it looks pretty small to me i don't think they would fit jack this is more of a royal blue and then look here the whale has the same stripes as the bottoms i thought that was just adorable i found this toy again it was in the box but i took it out of the box it had never been used it has these um hooks so you can put it on the crib look at this cute flower each page does something different there's a rattle here's fuzzy um there's a pretzel to chew on a teething ring and like i said some of it's crunchy there's a bee hanging off the end i think that's so sweet and then like i said i hung it on the crib uh, it was next to Lennon McCartney, as a matter of fact, but I just thought it was so cute and so adorable. And like I said, I paid $2 for it, and it was still completely in the box. I even had to cut the the uh, like the threads that were holding it in place. This is adorable. I'm thinking this will be for this little girl right here, Primrose. It does have long sleeves and it's like a jersey material, but look at this adorable dress. It has um, peach colored navy blue and teal flowers gathering in the middle, buttons up. Oh, by the way, it's Simple Joys. It has a little diaper cover to go with it with the same print. I think that's gonna be for our adorable Primrose right here because it's zero to three months. I may put it away, but you never know with the air conditioning and some summer nights can be chilly. And like this rain, I don't know when it's going to go away. This is just a six to nine months. I think this will fit Posey, uh, my Suskia. It's a little princess and a castle. It's just really cute. It's a onesie by Wonder Nation. It's white with pink trim on the collar and down here by the uh, snaps. And like I said, it has princesses on it in a castle, in a pretty tree. I thought it was really cute, and it will go with some of the pants that I have. I have never seen anything like this. It's a Carter's, and it's three months. So I'm thinking, again, Primrose, but look at this. It is a violet color or light purple. Look at that beautiful bird. He is um, 3D, and there's a little embroidered flowers there, and there's the white polka dots ruffles at the bottom isn't that just the cutest thing i think she's gonna look adorable in it again another onesie you don't see these kind of onesies too much this is a nine month so i'm thinking poppy or posy it's light pink and it has lavender teal and peachy colored um little fish on it it's so cute they kind of remind me of the goldfish that you eat in the pa the crackers it has a little teal colored bowl, bow and pink trim to match the fish. Really cute. And this, I'm pretty sure, is going to fit our beautiful primrose here. It has like a denim bottom. And then the top is yellow flowers with an orange center and little green leaves. Isn't that sweet? I think she'll look really cute. Nice little sundress. And we do have um, denim sandals. So I think she'll look adorable. I have, these little, I have trouble covering baby feet. I really do. All right, so these are all the washed things. I kind of want to keep them separate. These are not washed. Again, I found some really different. This is newborn, so this is going to be for lavender. And like I said, I just showed you a whole bunch of pants. It's a salmon-colored onesie. It is long sleeve, but it's quite thin. If you look really close, there's little uh, flower, floral prints on it, almost like a lace. And up here it has uh, 3D. It's the back of the pair and the middle of the pair. And it's uh, brown around here with cream and green. And then you have the green for the back of the pair with the brown leaves. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. And I like the little buttons down the front. That'll be for lavender. Here's another one for lavender. Like I said, I just found these beautiful. Now this is like ribbed, but look at this one. It is also like a periwinkle and it has a little white mouse on the top. It is long sleeved. I keep this house pretty cold though. 
Look at that cute little white mouse with the pink nose that's shaped like a heart. And she has a scarf on. It also has a, scar uh, a heart on it. Isn't that sweet? That will be for lavender as well. This was adorable. I'm thinking Posy, maybe even Zoe, my Damie kit. It is a onesie with a ruffle. It's got a pink trim. Look at this watermelon. Looks like somebody already took a bite. It has seeds. Isn't that sweet? And it's white with pink polka dots. And then pink where the snaps are too. But I thought that was adorable. We're almost done, everybody. Got some shoes. This little bonnet is just adorable. It has the bow in the back. It almost looks like a tulip if you look at the brim. It's pretty big, so I am thinking Posy or Poppy. So either the Blue Sparrow or the Saskia. It's pink, and I don't know if you can see, but it has tiny white polka dots. I thought it was adorable. This is a cute little onesie by Little Me. And it says nine months, so this would definitely be poppy. Again, I got a lot of long sleeve stuff, but it's real thin long sleeve. I don't know how I, if I would wear it in the winter anyways. But it, it's got white with little tiny yellow flowers and trim, yellow trim. And there's a ruffle here. It is one piece, but it almost looks like it has a top. This is ribbed. It's yellow. This is a one piece romper. I just thought it was beautiful, and I think Poppy will look adorable in yellow. This is for one of my twins, even either my Levi kit or my Chase kit. It's really cute. It's just a romper. It is Baby Gap, zero to three months. It's navy blue and white checks. It has like a little dem denim on the inside of the collar. Look at this cute little pocket. It is a fake pocket, but it's still cute. And then it has buttons down the front. And here's another pocket, too. Isn't that sweet? All right, got some shoes. These will fit. They, believe it or not, they may even fit Burke, but I know they'll definitely fit uh, Jack, my Blue Sparrow. He's got big, chunky feet. They still even have the tags on them, too. But they look like tennis shoes, almost like baseball tennis shoes. If you look, it has the uh, sewing part, just like the baseball. And it's white, navy blue, and red. <laughs> look at these. I got these for Lennon McCartney, my little Ava kit. Look at how cute they are. Just the teeniest, tiny little brown shoes with tan trim. And I think he's going to look adorable in those. These are for Jack as well. Just some nice summer sandals, navy blue. It has blue palm trees on the inside. And a little bit of tan in the back. So those are for Jack. I think this is going to be dark. And these are definitely for Burke. Plain, just brownish color uh, sandals. And then they have this kind of a bottom. Really cute. I paid almost nothing for all this, guys. I just love going to thrift stores. And that's my haul for today. Like I said, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We'll be back to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. So this was just a pop-in to say hello, to let you know I was thinking of you and that we love you, aunties, uncles, cousins, loved ones, and friends. We think about you all the time, and we hope only good things are happening for you. We'll see you real soon in our next video. If you're at work, please come home safe to those who love you. And if you're at home, I know you're super busy. I know you're always working. But take a little bit of time to put your feet up, relax, pamper yourself, and don't forget to eat chocolate. Primrose sends her love, and I don't want to knock her over. Oh, my goodness. Mommy, why did you mess with me? I was doing fine. Well, she does send her love. Mwah. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you on Sunday to wish you a happy Mother's Day. For those of you that are mommies, grandmommies, anybody that nurtures a child, reborn mommies, pet mommies, whoever you are, 
will be back to wish you a happy Mother's Day. Have a lovely evening and day, and I hope that you just have wonderful, special things happen to you today and every day. We love you. God bless, and we'll see you real soon.